Hello everyone, because we're all busy looking for a video of Donald Trump getting pissed on by a midget in the Moscow hotel room, I've created One Minute DCS. This time I'm covering autopilot modes in the MiG-21. Take off like the author of an incriminating dossier. Make sure your main SAU, trimmer, and gyro switches are on. This is your SAU recovery button, which returns your aircraft to level flight, and this is the button that cancels it, returning control to the pilot. In this demonstration, I'll put my plane into a steeper dive than the health of the dossier author should he agree to meet some members of the FSB for an ice cup of Polonium 210. Press the button, it recovers as if by magic. This is the SAU stabilizer. It dampens stick inputs. And as you can see, those inputs are damper than the flight simmer's panties at the mention of the F-18. This is the low-altitude recovery switch. It prevents unscheduled meetings between Mr. Meg and Mr. Ground. This is the SAU approach command mode switch. It doesn't take control, but instead provides flight cues on the KPP. This is the SAU automatic approach switch. Set the correct RSBN channel and navigate to the glide scope. Get on the glide scope between 9 and 1300 meters, depending on distance. Engage SAU automatic and pucker that sphincter. It will now fly the glide scope. Make sure you disengage engage and take control just before the threshold. At the outer end of the glide scope, the oscillations are quite gentle. However, the closer you get to the runway, the more violent the oscillations become. Until at a certain point, your aircraft begins to sway like a stream of urine being aimed into the mouth of a future president by a drugged up midget. If you have both VOR and bulimia, it may be an excellent way of completing two tasks at once. With my first dietary tip of the new year, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.